Okay, so tonight's tango was um, very much back to basics. We were just looking at crosses, we were just looking at connection, we were just looking at how in practice hold. Um, yeah, by the way. And you're about to That's it. Right. So, we're going to do a side step, keep the connection. And then, when I want to step past her, I have to turn my upper body to face, and she turns her upper body to face me, but our hips are still facing in the direction we're walking. So we can walk without any trouble. And we proved that by doing one, two, three, four, we did six, and the camera angle. And um, so we could walk any, um, any distance we liked in that position. Um, right, secondly, we then added in the cross. So I walk one, open out. And that opening out is important. And then when I take her across there, all I'm doing is rotating my body and my frame, and that brings her into that cross position. Because the free leg, if you can unwind for a second, the free leg stays below her centre of mass, plunk. And then we can walk out there. Yeah? Then we uh, looked at the linear cross. And right behind you, obviously. Right. Linear cross being linear, as they say. So we're going to do one, two, open, cross. One, two, open, cross. Drop this little frame there, I think we probably are. Right, so it's very simple, you keep in track, you don't have to get out of line to do this one first. So step, step, turn. So I've led slightly with the um, with the left foot, turned my hips and my body, which has turned her hips and her body, and then I'll bring us back in line. And lastly, because that's linear and small and keeps Nice and nice and compact, um, healthy position. Right, we can do this in sequence. So we go one, two, open, cross, open, cross, open, cross, and then bring her out afterwards. Um, and it, as a little bit of a leader adjustment, you can do to that. Leaders, you can do, you can cross as well. So we do one, two, open, cross, open. Cross, open, cross, and then walk out. And leaders, if you are doing that, you need to tuck your feet in really tight. So what we do is as, as we bring the feet in, you step, this foot goes behind and kind of knocks the knee forward. So soften the front knee. So that because if you keep your knee straight, you can't get your foot in tight. Whereas by softening that front knee, you can get in nice and tight. So I can literally go one, knock, two, knock. Yeah? And I think that's all we did. That's all we did. That's all we did. Excellent.